Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys. Um, so this is probably the closest I'm going to get to dressing up for this year's Halloween. Last four years have been super sucky because I have not dressed up, really dressed up since 2016, probably and on 2016 up to probably 2000. Anyways, I am Overland. This is our live today and it is October 30th, 2019. Um, last night I was pretty hard on the men. I was talking about how to get over heartache and how to understand how to use the atonement of Jesus Christ so that you could um, you could actually move on. And um, the thought that came to mind right before I came on, um, it's kind of been lingering all day, um, is that quote, it is better to have loved and lost than to never have loved. Um, and I have expressed it constantly on this page that if you think you can't get over rejection and heartache, um, if I can, you can. Um, and so, yeah, I I wanted to explain a little bit why I was so hard on the men last night. And if you go back and you watch it, it might sound like I'm bashing or being very, um, very not only hard, but very um, insensitive. But I just felt at that moment that hard love or tough love was um, necessary for whoever is a male and is viewing this um, you know page and comes across that video um, I actually have a good friend right now that is going through it a girl and I might have mentioned this like maybe 10 videos ago but a girl that, that tends our, our church in the same way as him and um, show somebody else over him and he's still going through it. He's still trying to um, come to grips of that almost mourning that loss of a potential romantic relationship and not understanding that even though it didn't you know work out romantically they could have you know still be friends. Um, I remember Steve Harvey saying that men don't know how to be friends. It's either they're with you or they're not. Um, so I do see the wisdom of that because for me being female and the majority of females I know, um, we do catch feelings and you can go days on days calling somebody your brother, but the minute they say they're interested and you've already been attracted to them, there's no doubt in my mind that whoever you are as a female, you would jump on that. As males, I don't know. But um, that's just a little of why I was hard on guys. Because what sucks is when guys um, go through that process of, like, let's say someone um, was in a long-term relationship, thought they were going to get married to that girl, and then all of a sudden she is not interested anymore and tells him and then moves on and then a couple of months later that girl ends up marrying somebody else um keanu reeves said it once he's like rejection shouldn't be something that people are so hung up about but should be grateful because that rejection just helps you to know that you don't have to waste time with that person um and i think as we um, come together as a community and um, learn from each other that that is the ultimate goal is to know that there's going to be another day tomorrow you'll have many tomorrows to figure out who is your one or um, and if you don't believe in that there's just one person for everybody then who's supposed to be in your life next um, instead of hanging on unhealthily to this girlfriend that you might have lost and so same thing goes with women if you're hanging on to a guy that is just not about you and is not and has told you in their actions or through their words then just let it go um and 
I say that very, very, um, like, nonchalant because I know how it feels to, um, just like you guys know, how it feels to hang on and just go through the motions and um, just get hurt and feel hurt for no reason. So just like my friend Jan Park says, why worry about it? If whoever you're supposed to be with isn't here yet, why stress over it? Why chase love? Why? Um, and one thing that, just to end this out, um, is if you're a believer of Christ, um, I would highly suggest to apologize to Heavenly Father about not trusting Him, that He has our best interest in mind, your best interest in mind, especially when it comes to choosing somebody to go through this life together with. That was something that was a wake-up call for me yesterday. Like I, For years, I've been begging for so many different people, and I finally came to grips that I have shown count constantly, Heavenly Father, that I have not trusted Him. So, love you guys. Have a happy night, and we'll see you tomorrow.